Hey, Deuce, I, I know sometimes it can be difficult to analyze your own play after a loss, but what do you think you did best out there today? Uh, I felt like I did a pretty good job making some explosive plays. Uh, that's what Coach Messingham talked about all morning, all week, is if we win the explosive play battle, we'll win the, win the game, of course. Outcome wasn't what we liked, but I feel like I made some explosive plays today. And um, what do you think it was just about the way you played during preseason camp that allowed you to be in a position where you could play right away as a freshman? Um, without a doubt, just diving into the playbook as soon as I got it. Um, signed my letter of intent around December, ended up getting the playbook at, in my iPad and stuff in February. So just right then, I just took it day by day, chunk by chunk, just went through and just looked at everything and didn't get ahead of myself and everything, try to look at everything. I just took it step by step by step, looked at all the installments that they had in 2019 camp. And then I knew if I did that, I'd give myself a great opportunity to be able to play early. Ryan Black. Hey, Deuce, you know, for some guys, it takes them a long time to, to finally reach the end zone in their career. Could you have ever imagined that you would have been able to do it in, in, in your first college game? It's it's honestly surreal. Just uh, even dreaming about, like last night, I went to bed dreaming about scoring my first touchdown in Bill Snyder Family Stadium, uh, just playing for the Wildcats. And it's surreal. And then whenever I got the opportunity and I hit up in there and I got in the end zone, I mean, I didn't know what to think. I was – uh, entire like monkey brain. I was just so excited, uh, and I just look forward to doing it over and over and over again. And, and then as a follow up, I mean, do, do you walk away from your first game feeling better about how you did, or is it more like I feel like I left certain plays out there, and that's that's disappointing? Definitely feel like I left certain plays out there. There was a lot of plays I could have hit up in there on uh, our outside zone uh, plays. There were a lot of cuts that I missed, and a lot of things I have to go back to on or tomorrow and look at. Whenever I get the film and everything, just look at what I can do better. As far as pass blocking, when I feel like I didn't do, have a great day in pass blocking, missed a few cuts, uh, just so many things to improve on. And of course, you can look at the great things that you do on a day like this, but when you lose, you have to go back to the, uh, the drawing board and get ready for the next game. John Kurtz. And just, we heard a lot from your teammates just about the maturity level that you have. Where, where does that come from, being as mature as you are as a freshman right now? Uh, without a doubt, my dad, uh, he was a college coach for 17 years. And just being around the game for that long, seeing the preparation of those kids that whenever I was seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years old, seeing players like Quandre Diggs, Chris Houston, and how they prepared in, in out in the NFL and had and having great careers in the NFL, just seeing what they did at that level, knowing that whenever I get my opportunity, that if I act like them to uh, go – how they went and everything that I'd have success uh, or I put myself in the best position to have success. Tyler. Hey Deuce. Um, it seemed like for large chunks of that game, there just weren't that many holes in their defensive front. What were they doing to limit the running lanes for you guys for good portions of that game? Uh, so they were switching in and out of their three and four, uh, down front, uh, we knew that they would do that because we're a pretty power run heavy team. And uh, they would always screw down number seven, who was like their free safety, almost he's a run support guy. So whenever we would have a hole, there was always somebody to make missing the hole. And uh, they had some pretty stout D linemen as far as everything went. So whenever we try to run power or anything like that, just things we got to sure up on in practice. And whenever we get back out into the field on Monday and get to practice and everything, just things that we're going to have to look at and just correct. Let's go last one right here, Mitchell. Hey, Deuce, the, uh, the broadcast kept calling you the Sandblaster as your nickname. How do you feel about that? That's a new one. The Sandblaster is a new one. Uh, I don't really know. I mean, as far as Sandblaster goes, it sounds pretty cool. So I guess I'll put that one in the, in the pocket, uh, maybe throw it out there on some social media stuff. I like the Jitterbug, though. I really like Jitterbug. I heard that a few times.